Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be talking about specifically how to delete uh, messages from your Gmail account, inbox messages. So we will be using the Gmail API method which is called as delete method. This is the documentation you can see here. It immediately and permanently deletes the specified message. It will not move the message to trash. It will permanently delete it. You will not be able to recover the message. So you need to basically run this very cautiously because you will lose your information so now let's suppose you don't want the messages that you see we will be adding a delete button right here in this specific tutorial so this will also clear out a lot of space if you don't want unwanted emails you can delete them by using this simple endpoint here this is HTTP endpoint we will be hitting it using the fetch API we will be making a simple delete request to this HTTP gmail google apis com slash gmail and here it takes two arguments guys first is the user id user id simply means which user email address we are working upon uh, for this tutorial we are using oauth 2 authentication we have, will be working upon your our own email address so this time this value will be me simply like this and now the second parameter it takes guys is the message id the id of the message to delete so every message as you know guys if i open my gmail inbox let me show you the messages every message has a unique id so let's suppose i take this email address let's suppose so you can see this is the id that you see right here this is the id this garbage numbers here simply copy this and basically paste it here and uh, if i paste it here and uh, we can simply run it using google auth 2 so what will happen guys if i execute this query this message will be deleted permanently i cannot recover it you will see invalid id value it is saying invalid id value uh, uh, basically uh, if you see uh, if i run this here inside my tutorial here this is the application here so you will see all if i inspect element if you see this is my latest message here let me see here go to console you will see this uh, five messages are returned so every message has its own id so this is the id that you need to copy paste this is the message that you have you can see this is the id if you copy this id here and if you paste it right here after this inbox you can see the same message will be opening here you can see this is a message here let's suppose i want to delete this message so what i will do i will simply paste this id right here so simply if I paste this ID here, execute this query, this message will be deleted. So now if I execute this, you will see 204 success point is here there. So this means that your delete query is successfully executed. Now if I try to open this message, you will see that I will not be able to because the conversation that you requested could not be loaded because that message has been successfully deleted. So now we don't have that message. You will see that. So in this way guys you can delete messages any message that you want to do it's really nice to delete and now let's get started how basically we can do this process inside our tutorial so you can see we will be adding a simple delete button so this is a playlist of tutorials guys of mastering the gmail api so i think it's the fifth tutorial in the playlist so if you haven't watched the previous four tutorials i will highly recommend because we have made cool little features we are displaying inbox messages inside this table and we are also searching the messages also so this all that we have done in the last four tutorials so definitely watch them before you proceed with this one so now if i click delete guys simply if i click delete this message will be permanently deleted so now let me just uh, again refresh it here so you will see this is a message and if i check here this is a promotional message here you will see that so if we can simply click the delete button and basically if you click delete button here it will make a simple fetch delete request and that message will be deleted and you can see it is removed from this table as well you can see that this is monday 5th you can see the date as well the same message here security alert google api's explorer was granted access if i just click delete here this message will be deleted and now if i refresh it you will see this message will be gone if you see no longer that, that message is no longer there so in this way guys you can delete messages and now let me show you how you can do this inside your code for this tutorial guys i have explained 
detail in this blog post the link is given in the description of this video so definitely read this blog post alongside with watching the video so right here guys uh, basically let me delete uh, sorry delete the code and start from scratch so that you guys can be able to learn so now guys you will see that if I now refresh it no delete button will be there if you open your application no button will be there so now we need to add a first of all if you go to your profile.html we need to add this uh, table heading which is called as delete and after this go to profile.js so, so here inside this inner html property we are basically looping out for all the messages we are displaying its id and basically we are displaying the column names so right here after this trash button we will have a simple delete button so as a table data row we will have a simple button here and uh, so this button label will be simply delete so inside this guys we will be attaching a simple on click to it so whenever you click this button what will happen inside this double quotes we will make a simple fetch call here so this fetch call will be the same that we discussed in the starting video so you will see this is the endpoint we will be hitting here simply copy this endpoint and paste it here so here we need to replace the value so id is coming inside this loop which is present inside message data dot id so this is the id of the message and user id as i explained you this is we are doing it for our own account so that's why this value will be me so put a comma here and set of curly brackets the method here will be this time be delete not post delete and here we also need to provide the headers as well so we need to pass the access token for this operation to be occurred so inside curly brackets we write here authorization colon and then inside single quotes you need to write bearer -E b-e-a-r-e-r -E and then followed by your access token like this so this method guys returns a promise so whenever it's completed it returns this inside dot then we can console log info and then we can also remove this message from the screen as well from the dom so we can simply you can see inside tr we have given this id to each message a unique id so we just need to remove this also so after this we can simply target it's by the id that we have given so this we can simply say message data dot id and we can call the remove method which is there for javascript to remove elements from the dom that's it so now if i just execute this application guys so what will happen as i click the delete button your message will be permanently deleted if you see now let's suppose i want to delete this message which is this message to under you will see found or your email click on delete so you can see that message was deleted you will see that so if you see if i open this gmail inbox and try to access this message i will no longer be tried you can see this conversation was deleted could not be loaded so no longer that message is there so in this way guys you can delete messages here and uh, it's a very simple way by which you can do this process so thank you very much for watching this video guys and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video